what's up guys in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to basically add vehicles to LCPDFR in Grand Theft Auto 4 so the first thing you want to make sure you have is Grand Theft Auto 4 of course and you want to make sure you can locate your directory files for Grand Theft Auto 4 and you can do this by going to local disk program files x86 and most of you guys is going to have it in Steam so you're going to go over to Steam Steam apps common Grand Theft Auto 4 and GTA IV so once you can locate that then you're pretty much good that means you have um, access to edit files and stuff but um, for this purpose you won't really be needing this um, like to edit stuff, we're gonna be di we're gonna be using something different called Open IV, or you can use Spark 4. But for this case, I'm gonna use Open IV. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to LSPDFR and go over to your mods, Grand Theft Auto 4 mods, vehicle models. And go ahead and find you guys a vehicle you want to download. Say if you wanted to download the 2011 Mark Ford Crown Victoria. You're going to click on it and then you're going to go ahead and click on to download this file. And do your security check. And then once you do your security, security check, click download and then once you click download it should start downloading at the bottom here and then you click open and then once you open it you'll get something like this it may s well you may have a folder that says vehicle file or read me um, but you want to click on the folder and see which one has the WFT file and the WTD file and you want to go ahead and open up open IV once you have that installed to your computer, click on PC, Models, CD Images, Vehicles, Edit Mode, and that allows you to edit any of the vehicles. So if you see right here, this is all the vehicles that they have in Grand Theft Auto 4, at least as far as I know. So once you click on Edit Mode, you want to go over to your, your um, WinRAR which has the WFT and the WTD files and you want to go ahead and drag it to to your um, your vehicles right here and it, you see it's called Pole Patriot so if you go ahead and type Pole um, it should come up Pole Patriot WFTD WFT and click on the one car and that should be the one that you um, you drug in now this is a different one from the one that I was just now showing you guys um, this is the one I want to add that I just now added, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one as soon as I'm done with this video. So after that, you can go ahead and X out. Um, you don't have to save anything uh, as long as don't forget to click edit mode um, whenever you do it and whenever you're done. And then just click X. You can X out of this, X out of everything. And um, if you want, you can create a separate folder to hold your um, cars that you have or possibly make a backup folder but um, you don't need to do that but after you do that um, you can basically go into Grand Theft Auto 4 launch LCPFR and you'll have that car so I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please leave a big thumbs up and in my next video day after tomorrow um, I will be starting my LCPDFR series so yeah guys so if you liked the video please leave a thumbs up and um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, comment, like, anything you can do, guys, to help me out. So, yeah, guys, peace out, and I'll see you guys uh, in my next video.